Okay, so here's a fun little guitar that needs a new set of strings on. Uh, Daisy Rock. Made in Indonesia, 2004. It's got some nice Grover tuners on there. Duncan Design pickups. I think this guitar is maybe geared towards the girls. So let's put some strings on this one real quick. The strings, you run your finger underneath them like this and you can just fill the dirt. Marketed for the girls, but I get a lot of girls that come in and they're like, dude, there is no way I'm going to play that pink guitar. And like I was saying, they're marketed for, you know, young girls that want a pink shiny guitar. But they're heavy. I had one that was so heavy. This one still got a lot of weight to it. So it doesn't make too much sense that you would, uh, you know, market a guitar for a girl and make it really, really heavy guitar. But I've had some that are like that. And once in a while, you know, you'll get a customer that wants one of these things as a present or something. Just gonna put a, a bunch of lemon oil on there. There we go. And then just kind of clean the fretboard. Now this guitar is mine. And I got it in on a trade where I bought uh, multiple items, whole bunch of stuff came in, and this was one of them. Sometimes I even put this stuff on the, there you go, on the pickups like that, just to kind of shine them up again. I, say, I think the string height and everything on this guitar was fine. The one guy that traded it in said he loves how it sounds. So the Duncan Design pickups, right? that are in here. Uh, you see a lot of guys pulling them out, but uh, you know, they're, they're not too bad. Other people are, really seem to like them. And this, honestly, this is one of those kind of paint jobs that I like if it was on a BC Rich or uh, a Charvel or something. I like, like the paint job. Before I put the strings on it, let's just test the electronics. Oh, I can see the input jack is loose or the output jack. Yeah, everything's good there. But the output jack is kind of loose. Okay, so I got that all tightened up, and she's looking good. Today's string choice. Uh, today's string choice, SIT, nine gauge strings. SIT, stay in tune strings, nine through 42s. I've been using these strings lately. So this is kind of cool because they actually give you two free strings in here with these things. So you get a high E string and an extra high B string. So if I do enough of these, there's going to be a, uh, I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, extra strings laying around, which these other brands, they don't do that for you. So I was out at the NAMM show and ran into the guys at SIT Strings and decided to buy a bunch of them. So I got the 9 gauge and I got the 10 gauge and I got some of their bass strings too. Okay, so the two extra strings, I just stuck them back in there and put a little tape on there and I have a big box of extra strings 
And so those will just go right in there. These tuners are really good quality tuners. See, there we go. Okay. I'm with this Dane Electro out of the way. Look at that, we got two of them now. Wonderful. They're a little different. One's got binding. Mm -hmm. 